with us. We get ready to head in to the first half of this playoff series. And here's going to be the map pick on the fin. So let's get at it. CT side to start for Cole, right? Ents his pick, one that they're certainly terrifying on, on the best of times. And so Cole's work cut out for them. Ents the favorites over on GG Bet. We'll see if that holds true. And he's already out. Tikon, he's crept out into Olaf. He has been tagged, and so likely Cole are aware of this possibility. Blame is checking it on a timing. Config smoked off, and Yampi is trying to rush him down. Config hears the footsteps, but it's all too late. The USP upgrade, and Yampi is in the sight. Rush getting tagged. Aim punch being a problem. He goes back in with one point of health. Will they realize he's tucked back? Blame at the back of the site, and Poison will find the first for Cole. Trades are looking good for Enzo. They have a lot of room out on A, and Ali's patrolling the top of the train. Sergey fighting back. Sees two at uh, Old Bomb, and now Ents have the info, but the bomb's been dropped. Yeah, and this pretty scrappy affair right here. Blame F versus Alu. The bomb has been retrieved. Alu, considering what happens if I stick around outside, and he will for just a little while longer, and actually he's going to go for this whole bomb plan here. He wants the whole enchilada. He's going to get that bomb down. Blame F is going to be able to find him there shortly after, but not the seceding shots. Tucked in tight. Blame F starts to make his move. Oh, Alu given a chance there, but doesn't get away with it. And so Blame, very, very low now. And Alu on the other side. Blame's going to start to close the distance. This is a very drawn out oh. fight. The Blame F is going to win. Complexity. They nab that pistol round out from underneath Ence's nose as they go 1 0 up. Getting off to a good start here on the map pick of Ents. Yeah, there was actually Kit dropped Ivy. Blame's going to run for it now. He couldn't grab it while he was fighting Alu in this position because he didn't want to go down uh, trying to retrieve that. You see, he looks at it, runs for it, but just misses it by a millimeter. Still, he gets the kill early and has that 10-second defuse all locked in, all fine and dandy. So a strong start for Cole to begin. As you said on Ents' map pick, will they force off the back of the bomb plant? We often see AK armor in the second round on a few players, but just Eagles for the time being. Ents keeping it cool, and Cole going in with a big old buy. NATO's playing solo inner right now. We'll keep an eye on his positions in this series, whether he'll just be filling in for Obo, or if Cole have had time to change some things around. Will this be a, one of the maps that they've actually focused on, right? Or is it just a plug and play right now? Config spots, players jumping across, Pop Dog enters setting up outside of B. Nato's already been tagged off as well with the Deagle, so got to drop a smoke and call for a rotate. Poison comes to assist. Well, this is a chance for Nato to put up some numbers early on here. But as you mentioned, already tagged by the Deagle. Can they drop that Molotov over at Ram? Now the upper push comes on in and no one is there to hold it. So Sunny needs Nato out of the round. A bit more return damage from Poison. But the bomb plant found here for Ace, and that's great for them. Are going to struggle to get away with much more. But with Sergei putting up that kill, leaves it in a two on two. And Config is one HP. This Glock on Alu oh. could have dealt with him. Config somehow winning that out. And now Sergei all alone inside of the site. Misses the timing onto Rush, who has now retrieved an M4. And he's trying to break these fights up. Ooh. And there it is. Rush with the pre fire. They know where he is. They've got his number. Complexity going to grab the defuse. Uh. Didn't have a kit, so it was always going to be close, but this is still that second round Pretty on the close. board regardless. Just close enough. There we go. That's probably more accurate. Two to zero, complexity go up. Very successful round, though, friends, right? Like, Deagle armor on some of the players, a bit of util. They get three kills and a bomb plant. That's going to uh, facilitate this big old buy in round number three in complexity. Took enough casualties. They're not, they're not exactly rich right now. That really was a pre-fire from Rush. Whoops, out on Poison early, though, for Cole. That's what you like to see. Let's see if we get this head-to-head -head between him and Alu. Taking it over Yampi for the time being. Smoke out E-Box, some A utility, but setting up towards the B-bomb site. And not Sergei stealing that kill. It's Alu who grabs it from above. Poison's gone. And then to have a man advantage. Poison just got deleted, man. Like, double peaked from the two players there. The bullets all hitting in tandem. He never even gets a chance to react. 
Sonny holding for config as well. He's been pretty active in showing his hand here in the pop dog, so they know he's likely going to be in this position. They're holding for someone to retrieve the orb, and of course, Nato wants his, to get his hands on it, and he will. He gets out of there. Nato's real happy with this, man. He knows like this is one of his times now to showcase what he's got in this uh, in this game, and it comes nice and early on. The rest events is setting up down towards Ivy. Config. What? Oh dear. Bad man. Damage, but not the kill. Sonny. I don't know how he gets away with that, but he does. His orbs left inner. Yeah, they fully stacked the outer sight. This is a real gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off here for complexity. Nato with his orb. First shot misses. Ariel going to deal with Rush. And Nato suffix trying to hold the line. Oh, he's got a lot of angles to worry about. No one's holding oh. main. No one's holding pop as the NATO gets ran over. It's all on to blame in the blink of an eye. And considering that that was a full stack inside of the A site, that really does fall apart for complexity. Yeah, poor NATO there, right? He misses his opening shot. He doesn't get given a second one. And then with Ents not re-peaking, he realizes he's likely getting wrapped. Two spots to look at, main and T-Con. And, he looks, uh, and uh, pop, rather. And he looks away from pop just as the peak comes through. Full A setup does nothing. Blame's trying to hold onto his gun. And Sergei's still looking for this B kill. He might find it. Is Blame ready for a player so close? Sergei, back down the ramp. Just patrol in this area. Uh, it seems like Blame should be getting away all fine and dandy for now. Nice read from Cole, but execution from Ed is perfect. Blame, the kill on the way out. Won't do anything to the money. Enter still sitting pretty with three alive. This was great for Convict, right? Even though he doesn't get a kill, uh, you know, he, he knows Sonny's spamming and hits him on the reload. He waits till the ammo's low and then goes, well, I'm going up the ladder. And he gets good damage. He saves his own life. If he climbed up, he may have been able to finish the kill, right? But he doesn't know that it's only one player above there. So he doesn't want to commit. Dangerous. Ends on the board. And pistols out for Cole, right? The money getting a bit broken here. That was the casualties in the second round retake that has left them with... A lot to be desired in this one. NATO's pushed in a with rush. And double headshot for Sergey. Perfect position. Yeah, really easy there for Sergey. Could be some saving grace here. Should config come alive. It's not gonna happen. Sonny's got his number with the AK. Now blame F and Poison are left to do anything that they can in this round. Good luck on them. Ooh. And the shot from Scott Poison, and well, actually, Blame that they will pick up one before he falls. We see Ents two to two. This one's tied on up. And it's about to get better, right? Cole broken fully now, no reason to invest. Keep two. Blame could save some money if he wants to drop over the AWP, or he can buy Deagle. That works. Really going for it in this round. Six and two, though. It's got the numbers to back it up. Seeing some missed shots all across the board for complexity right now. Let's hope they're not a little bit cold coming into this matchup. They've had a bit of extra time to warm up with Mouse Narby going the distance. And this one already started off strong. Oh, great re Molotov, though, to deny that top train position. Ali, who even sees the man falling back into old hell. Still looking like they want to commit to this A play, though. And a very, very heavy presence here from Cole. These deagles are not to be underestimated. Config putting Ariel down in the dirt. Now Sergei closing the distance, makes his presence known. There's the repeat from Config, and he is going to pick it up with the D. Rush trying to hold Ivy side. Is good for one. Config dealt with as well. And so now they can send Alu back to try and get his hands on this bomb. Complexity, they fell off of all these angles and they regrouped over towards Connector and Ents. They don't look like they're committing to A. They actually give up that control in Ivy. Sonny's going to come back and rejoin Alu over here in main. And now for Cole, like, this is a bit of a problem because suddenly you were like, well, it's A, right? Let's just set up for the retake. But now they don't even know that anymore. Like This silence has actually kind of helped Ents. And it's spread apart this complexity CT side somewhat. You know, their attention just isn't fully fixated on the A site yet. That should enable a bomb plant to come in here and turn the clock against complexity. 
Yeah, the util is key. Ents have so much of it, and they should use it while they can. And Molly could burn Nato out of the connector. He might even have to commit, push back to the corner. Bomb plant for Ents in the smoke. 10 seconds when that comes through. Cole can't stop it, thanks to the Molotov. And now they're going to move in. Ents, are they ready? Sonny's peeled off. He's going to take a look, and Nato's already been spotted. The spray is good. Can't continue. Blame does trade. And that armor that he bought as well could be worth its weight in gold in this clutch situation. One-on-one, -on -one, looking for the last place. Found the gun. Alu's gone all the way around. The bomb is for him at the back of green. And Blame has got the read, but not the shot. Alu so keeping close. things alive for Ents. And even though it was only pistols for Cole, they make it close. Yeah, super close there for Blame. Unfortunate turn of events for him at the end of the round. Should see some, well, a better investment, I should say, coming into this next round. Definitely a nice slowdown for Ents, right? Like, it forces Cole into uncomfortable spots. You understand why they have to play connector. They can't, you know, in a two-on-two, -two, sit in the site because there's so many positions Ents can come from and just wrap them. So, so uh, Cole decided to give them everything. I can't get that retake clutching. Config dead again in the sandwich. Nice grenade in main. Bit of a beating onto Ents. Yeah, back on the Deagles here for Flexity. Sergey peeking out a pop. They're going to pinch this outside site using a bunch of utility over there on the bomb train. Sunny finds his way over to the lane. So far, so good for Ents. They're going to get a bomb plan out of this. Just poison left live. And that's not for too long. No bomb plant necessary. Ents go up four to two. And this is for all of you that doubted Ents in the beginning. Pretty apparent who you were. We know who you are. You know who you are. Rush, is he considering the double orb, right? No, he's not going to do it. There was a delay. There was a hesitation, perhaps, as Cole considered it, but just going to stick on it for one for now. Poison, last time he had the orb, he was picked me up immediately by Alu and was out of the round. Where's he going this time? He's staying on that A site. NATO solo B again. And N setting up for a faster A approach. Oh, straight in. Sergey having a great game. Opens this round up. The bomb, however, back in through this B site. NATO Suffix has to try and hold the line for these rotations to come in. He's missed his opportunity. He does pick it up the second time around. And now more than ever, just needs to stay alive. That nade finds a nice bit of chip damage onto Sunny. One of these rotations is cut down by Alu. And so the number's not exactly built up here for complexity. It's an even odds two on two. NATO, they try and flash him through that smoke. Instead, he gets blinded, and oh, Sonny is crouched down. Nato doesn't know, and now he hears that utility on the side of Sonny, but Nato in with the kill, leaves it all on Alu, and a 1v3 does have the AWP to play with, but that bomb is the problem. He wants to try and get it, but to do so, he's got to navigate this, this site that's swarming with coal players. You can see that Rush is hinging over in that connector. Oh, Tag on the first peak. Deeg out. Uh -oh. and that's going to find Nato. But 35 seconds and Rush gets that all-important trade. Complexity, they will finally break that little streak of Ents by putting their first round on the board. There are those moments where you see something about to happen. I, You know, you get the same vibes with the config sometimes. Sometimes with Alu, you're just like, yep, they're about to pop off. But not this time. Maybe next. Complexity put up a much needed third. NATO plays very well disciplined inside of the site. Yeah. Good on him. Oh, yeah. ESL.GG slash fan cam. I haven't even pumped it one time. Shoe on head. Shoe on head. Don't call me a shoe head. ESL.GG slash fan cam. Join us. We're in the playoffs. We'd love to throw you on the screen. If you're not doing anything inappropriate, of course. Oh, Ariel, he's out there. He's player and pop. Rush getting the drop from Ivy. It's conflict with the assist. And Poison follows up. The orb not needed on this CT side. Sergey again trading inside of the ladder room, but he's so low. Relying on Alu to do some heavy lifting in this one. Again, he's going to get boosted. No one is above a train, though. Nothing to be seen. Again, Cole just tuck in right now. Man advantage. No reason to give up much. You know the orb is still up. Quite literally, but they can't see a thing. And on the clock, Ents, they, they like to play with a round timer. And they've got all the time in the world to do so. Not wanting to give this orb away to Poison, who is making in the connector. Miss shot, Alu on the peak. Gets dinked as well to 50. I'll blame F. Somebody call Olaf, because there's about to be a party. 
Ooh. Not ready for that. Sunny gets the better of him and follows up as well. Now, Poison is here to keep us in a two on two, but he needed to stay alive there. Now, Nato left on the rotation, armored only at MP9. Top player tags him down and is there to finish the job. So that A site falls apart again for Cole. And how low they were there at the end of the round yeah. was definitely winnable for Nato. Yeah, he doesn't know that, right? Like he doesn't want to take the, the, the pop con fight with an MP9 because he'll likely lose it. He thinks he can get across, but actually with Sergey on 15 HP, it would have only taken a bullet. Sunny, great entries as well, right? Blaine does a lot of damage, but it's not finished off by Rush. And then even though Sunny pulls the bomb out, expecting the site to be clear, Traded out, still enough for Ents, finding five. Back to Deegs for Cole. Triple nades, they got a lot of damage last time with one in main. One comes in early, does next to nothing. Some more to follow, but you can see Ents are very aware of this possibility. Alu still getting hit by the third. I love the, the wave of nades, right? You see the first, you're like, oh, they've naded Con. They're, they're, they're done. And then another one comes in. Oh, two, no more. That's it. Three, okay. Well, now I'm 20 health. Sonny's out Ivy with an MP, uh, Mac 10 rather, looking for these anti-eco kills. Sergey's gone early in the round. Sonny can't figure <laughs> out where he's getting shot from, but he does respond. Config pushes main wow. and blame with three out of nowhere on the D. I don't know what happened, but it's a cold round. Hugo, talk to me. Um, how how often have you seen these MP9 buys do anything for uh, for Cole? How many kills do you reckon they've had? Not many, right? Yeah. How many do you think the D oh, have had? Oh, here we go. Uh, in a lot of these rounds. What, I have Cole even had MP9s, Harry? You're trying, yeah. to, you're trying to throw that back Multiple at Multiple times. That's all NATO's really had. He's a one rifle buy. This is his second. So what you're saying is, if they had a dedicated Deagle player... <laughs> well, if they had a... Yeah, I mean, you know, if they had just one guy, right, playing Deagle, yeah. maybe. Harry, I'm not against the idea. I like it situationally. <laughs> Which means not every round. No, not every round. Sometimes, not, applicable not always. applicable game plan. But Harry up for coaching opportunities. That's just Harry, GG at GG dot GG. Oh, Big shot, Sergey. See you later, <laughs> NATO. Gets deleted from across the whole map. Just get your feelings hurt. Welcome back. More damage as well. This to Eagle chomping at the bit to get away with more than one. And Sergey, he's having like a vintage performance right now. Poison might be uh, really in a, in a spot of bother here with Sergey being so damn close. Lock. The MP wrapping around. He's got a lot of kills available. And there's the AK that was dropped. Oh my goodness, no. He's picked up and he killed his teammate in the chaos. He was so bloodthirsty, but now Sunny trying to do it again. There's one with the Deeg. Onto the M4. In the site, Rush is on the defuse. Molly comes in just a little too late. And Rush has gotten away with it. What a weird round. Yampi was so hungry for kills. He did not care who he took down in the process. They looked at you the wrong way and you just got smoked. He does get a DK hey, out of Sergei it. Really gives well. him the gun yeah, and he that's kills That's the most him. insane part. It's obviously because he sees three players, right? So in his head, he's like, okay, I got to get three kills here and now. So the, the second he sees another player move, this was a cracking two. shot onto Sergei, Bang, though, dude, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and still Cole win the round. They get double flanked, two layers of players behind their back line. And it's still going to be a cold round. Rush, the balls to stick it. Alu already done. opened up. This game is entertaining. Had to be done. Had to stick it, and he did. You're right. I think that Molly was just a little short. Doesn't matter now, though. That's in the past. Alu, having found his way up there to Olaf with an AWP, strikes config with it. That leaves us in a five on three. Oh, Rush. He's going for it. Full spray, full commit, and he does get away, killing Yampi in the process. Ents dropping B with two. It's empty. NATO's come out to help outside, but that's just given Ents all the room in the world. What will they do with it? Bomb plant coming out wide as well. I like this. They're setting up for the fact that Alu's still on the A site. He'll try and stay alive and come in again on one of these backstabs, but Cole want nothing to do with it. They're looking to save Alu in a precarious position now as they're going to look for him. He's found one. Rush coming out. Ivy gone as well, and this has fallen apart for Cole. The man on the backstab might just ace in the front line as Blame is left alone in pop. Uh-oh. Might. Oh, oh, ace denied. Blame, though. Can he get away nice. with this M4? He's holding on to it. He's making a good case, and he's retrieved the AWP as well, but only the tag to Sergey. And it's going to retake the lead, 6-5. to five. Alu's having a, a great time recently yeah. in CS. Like... 
I don't know what it is. This guy's like the, the, the Jeepers Creepers of like CSGO. It's like every, <laughs> every like three years, he'll like come alive, you know, and start wrecking in the nighttime. And then suddenly can just drop off again. But th this kind of tear that the Ents have been on, like to even be in this position, right? A lot of people saw Ents in the Pro League and they were like, lol. Like kind of kind of cool to see Yampi there, but what are they even going to do? And man, they, they've had a great season here. There they are, those fan cams, I there promise you. They are filled up now. Good luck getting a seat in there. I, I love how Ents are abusing this B-bomb star, right? They figured out that NATO's there. They know that he's like, you know, not that, wow, well, I was going to say like least experienced, but not that's not really the talking point, right? He's the filler in. He's the, the stand in for Cole. And so they're abusing the fact that he is keen to rotate. He is keen to go and help on that out of sight, maybe even called by blame and getting into B time and time again for Ents. The one time we've seen NATO in the forefront of the site when Ents have committed, he's actually put up a really good round, but not in that one, pushed away back to A and Ents take it. Yeah, we find ourselves on round 11, excuse me, round 12, 11 rounds in the board. And also a quick technical timeout. These things do happen. So we're going to get a uh, switch of TeamSpeaks here, switch of third-party proprietary software. Oh, for us? All right, then, Han, I'll join the other one. Join the other one? Okay. Look at this. this User nice. has left your channel. How was that? Was that all right? Okay. Yeah, I really... It wasn't like... No? Yeah, it's not going to not like, break the sound it. barrier or anything with stuff like that. But hey, we, you can. Know, it's, uh, we could. And we I, I hate that AK, like the, the net one, the mesh, the net mesh. I don't know what it's called. Mesh? Yeah, it's ugly. Rude. It's got what would Alu have too. to say? Something that is getting a little bit worrying is that Ents, as you pointed out, Hugo, have figured out about these fast rotates off of B, right? They, they, they've, they've very much caught on to that in these last few rounds. And, you know, while, while this bomb has been going down on the B side, I don't think it's complexity realizing quite how uh, kind of orchestrated that entire play is, right? Because it kind of feels like it's just happening in the mid round when in reality, that bomb is often waiting outside of the B site from the get go. Yeah. And um, usually, if you're on CT side, right, you can read the fact that it's a B play via two things, right? If Ents like don't show any pre uh, presence, T-Con and Ivy in the first like 15, 20 seconds, you go, well, no one's pressuring A, they're probably going B. The other way is like Ents throw a bunch of fake smokes, but no one commits behind them. And then Cole go, well, they threw smokes, but no one's out. So it, again, it's got to be B. But Ents aren't doing that. They are pressuring A. They're sending in Alu into T-Con. He's getting the picks. And then two players walking in a late in the round, Cole at that point assume it's a commitment on A because Ents have been running these slow out of split. But yeah, it's it's already in the heads of Cole, right? Sandwich position's been bad for them as well. They haven't won a fight from that. Config and Blame both getting dropped there. I saw that um, an Ed's fan replied to a uh, to the Yampi 3K clip where he where he team kills Sergey, saying kill is kill like it doesn't seem yeah you know it's like kill. fair He's enough right like three in the round but one is your teammate. I mean, it looked cool from here, so. Kill is kill. It technically lose them the round, keep in mind. We'll keep that on the DL for now. Don't want to rub it in. Right now, Ents, they're pretty moisturized. Yes. This is what I love about Sergey. He's the kind of guy to type plus right and then just peace out out of the server for now, right? See like, you in a few rounds. So we even up. get the replay. So this is it. He picks up the gun that Sergey drops. He saw three and is like, this is it. This is my moment. If Valve are watching, this is what I want them to see. And then All just, right. oh, well. <laughs> kill is kill. I'll be trusted. Kill is kill. Sergey, you won't forget that one, will you? Back band, and of course now game band for team <laughs> killing as well. So really just building a, a case up against him. The old 30 minute cooldown, that's what this pause is. And so uh... yeah, we have to sit here and wait for the TK. Uh, yeah, back to the lobby has never been more true. Look at this camera angle. Yeah. It was slightly see-through. Uh... Is that like a ghost? Yeah. It's like full Harvey Dent, you know, he's like Two-Face. Yeah, we should just start superimposing images of players. Onto the, onto the models, models. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is a little unrealistic, but... I mean, if Game of Thrones can have a dragon, why can't we do that? Imagine you, you get, imagine you get you knifed by... Imagine you get knifed by JW, and then you see his, like, cheeky face. Looking in the, at you? Yeah, like, looking back at you. Oh, that would give you nightmares, man. You'd be terrified. I hear a lot of typing, but I don't see a lot of moving. And that there gets me worried, Hugo. Yeah. 
So do you think you could maybe, I don't know, like ring NATO, tell him to get a move on? I'll fix it. There we go. Wow. Wow, he's done it. Back in. Yeah, they got a buy here, right? Carl pretty broke, and so Eco wouldn't mean that they have everything in the next round, and that really just digs them a deeper hole, right? They, they don't have a better option, but Enter are continuing to build on the T side of their map pick. Yeah, this buy is pretty weak, right? We got a scout on poison. Doesn't want to get Kev, needs that money. For Deegs. Deegs have done some damage. Blame and Co picked up a round on this outer site, but Ents don't want anything to do with it, right? And this is where we should have that early B rotate that we were talking about. Cole, they see A, they see one smoke, but they don't see a single person. They go, guys, is it A? Probably not A. We should leave. Poison already going in. Uh, NATO is ready and waiting on the other side. And Ents just setting up an execute, right? This should be fine for them. They've just got to get past NATO. Yeah, and down through the lower ramp, right? They do bypass pretty much all the danger NATO dealt with. And the follow-up is in from Ariel. Poison is going to tag one, makes it a double with the scout. And now things get a little bit more interesting here as that bomb does go down. So it is going to be complexity on the clock. It's out just yet with the scout. And so that might give Alu a little bit more free range. Miss shot onto Poison. Config with his deagle on the side of that smoke. And he's going to get the better of Sunny. There's the spam from Sergey and Poison. Moving in to try and trade, but he can't as the fights just aren't being given over. Just looking to maximize damage here of your call. And they do take the AWP out of the round. That's a bit of a, that's a bit of a grave error for Ents. Blame lives to tell the story, gets away with the AWP, strips it out the hands of the Finns. And so suddenly like, yeah, you don't win the round, but you do a lot of damage. You force four reinvestments, including that AWP, and you get a freebie for yourself moving into this next round. That's a pretty good eco. Unfortunately, pretty good. Doesn't do a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, right? It's still a strong T side for Rents. Cole, another chance to make things interesting in this one. The Eagles dropped over to the team and the double sniper. Config waiting on the bomb train. Poison's pushing inner with the AWP and he's cleared it out already. He knows that B is empty, but Ents again doing that same thing, right? Showing presence on A, clearing inner late. They don't have the bomb with them, right? So this might be a pop into A with double Ivy, but... We'll see where it goes right now. Ariel can always rejoin the troops. Do Cole want con uh, control? Certainly looks to be the case. Pushing close towards Tcon. Flashed in by Blame. Emptied out. Ariel's holding for this though, right? He's giving it up. Poison flashed off at B. He's got to fall off the angle. He might step into the Molotov, but decides against it. Doesn't want to give away the first pick. And to have realized that Cole have taken Tcon as well. The spam for Comfort gives it all away, and he hits the orb fire back as well, playing with fire by standing on this very wall bangable wall. But Ariel, oh dear, he tucks out and kills Comfort. That control for Cole lost. And they did have a couple B, but now they're going back towards that A site, and rightly so. Ents are setting up. Yeah, that all rotates over from B and Blame puts up the first kill for Complexity. I feel like we were hyping up NATO a lot early on. Let's see if he can deliver as well over in the sandwich because he is now the only man left in this A bomb site for Complexity. Hidden in this position, doesn't get checked and tries to play the trigger discipline just for a moment. That wastes even more time off the clock. Now, Sergey is looking to oh, trade okay. with the Deagles and with another, and it's left into this 1v1. Sergey versus Blame F up on top of the trains. Sergey, I think oh. he's seen him. Indeed, he oh. has. He's closing the distance, uh -oh. going for the kill because he doesn't have the bomb. Blame oh. can't get away in time. And hence, they get eight on the board. They with a very, very big round there. Yeah, Blame got tagged by the AK, which slowed his movement down. He should have made that, but Sergey hits him once through the wall, and that just stops his movement dead in his tracks. NATO stalls for long enough, but Sergey, no bomb, no plant, just rushed down the final player. Blame has been a le uh, left in a lot of these eco clutches, these eco one-on-ones, and has yet to be able to convert one. Ents, this is a great T side, even though these rounds are getting very dicey at times. They're still taking it over the line. Eight to th uh, five, Blame pushing down Ivy. Wants some aggression. He doesn't see Sunny, he was tucked. Fires back, Blame gives it up. Full buy for Cole with no AWP in this round. Nato is gonna get dealt a full B play by the looks of things. Ents again, setting up this execute. Poison's come to assist. 
Watching the ramp, but they could flash him off. Nato, what can he do on top of the trains? He's already blind. Got some utility to use. Poison trades one for one, but they get the volley down on the bottom. That's going to stall things out. Ents have already pushed in deep past him, and Yampi comes in with a backstab. Will he get shot from the sidelines, though? Blame in spawn. Sees the head and takes it off. Bomb planted for Ents. They've won this three on three before. And you can see how haunted they are by the memories of that double wrap. You know, they spend all this time clearing out the back lines. And that's going to cost them some precious time here. Alu will get smoked off, but oh. just before the smoke plumes, he removes Blame F from the round. And leaves this in a two on two. Now inside of the site, Complexity find themselves moving in for the killing blow. But Sunny here at ramp is able to get the better of config. Looking to follow up, can't deal with Rush, but there's so little time. There's not even time for the defuse if Rush wanted there to be. And so Ents stroll into B and they get away with the ninth round. This is a very, very compelling T side thus far. Yeah, for Alu, well played. He just waits out the smoke, knows he's the last one. He doesn't have to really do anything at that point but just ensure that Rush can't defuse. Last round of the half. Remember, y'all, this is playoffs. A double elimination at that. Yeah, loser of this matchup is going down to face Mouse Sports right in that lower bracket of limb game. So not an easy matchup right there. Scout out on Poison. I feel like we've had more scouts than Orbs in the CT side. The money for Cole has you know, not been there. I love this, though. Ooh, he saw it. Back up the ladder, maybe. Whoa! Sergei so, okay, dodging death only for a moment. Config's got a gun, and Ents have got that A bomb site. They're running through. Rush with one. He doubles up on top of the trains, and now Ents stuck behind the smoke will bail. It's only Sunny blinking. You miss it. This round is all coals. Sunny is going to need one hell of a one on five to keep this in the favor of Ents. It's going back down Ivy. Rush. Already on a two-piece, keeping his eyes on it. It all happened so fast. You might have actually blinked and missed it. Missed it. Yeah, not the uh, the glamorous ending to the half that Ents were hoping for, but a great recovery from Colt. What can Sunny do in this 1v5? We're not expecting much, so anything really is an improvement on this current situation. He's just got to full send it. Three players inside of the A site, and one of them up here on top of the train. Sonny, he saw poison there, but that's drawn his attention in, and there's the trade from Rush. So he gets one, but that's the end of the half. All said and done, it's six on the board for Cole, nine for Ents, as they put up a convincing T side. Find out who takes this pick, Ents' pick, after a quick break, so don't you go anywhere.
exactly going on here. A little baklava for the boy. Of course, this, well, this is a little bit different of a treat. This is the SL Pro League Season 12 playoffs, and we are well within the first round of the brackets. Welcome back, everybody. We love having you. Moreover, I'd like to introduce you to my colleagues. Sometimes, my friends, just depends what day of the week. We've got Harry and Hugo, also in the studio with me. My name's Trace. Right now, we're looking at the second half of play. Train, complexity, taking on Ents. So far, so good for Ents. We watched Jumpy eat that. Chow down. Chow down. I think what's cool about these playoffs as well is, you know, we don't get a lot of breaks in the schedule, but at least, uh, you know, last week we had NA and uh, South America playoffs. And so Europe has had a week to rest and relax and prepare for these games. Only a few teams left up in this spot. Eight in the playoffs cut down from 16. And so some time maybe for Complexity to get used to having NATO in the squad and for him to adjust to the team environment. Right now, playing solo inner on the CT side, having a bit of a rough start personally, but who wasn't for Cole, right? We had some Deagle rounds. We had quite a few Deagle rounds, but only six on the CT side. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that we have a bit of a pause because it lets us talk about, you know, this complexity situation and now what Pro League means for them, right? I can imagine yeah. that if you're, if you're complexity, we know how these guys operate and we know that the loss of Oboe has probably hit this team in a very, very hard way. Jason Lake looked very, very emotional when he was kind of talking about the whole ordeal involving Obo making the decision to depart. Um, and, and for the rest of the team, you can imagine the kind of disarray that that throws in, right? Think about the kind of guy that Blame F is and how much effort he would put in to orchestrating this team, getting the most out of everyone. And then imagine that kind of what, what must feel like all that effort, all that grinding that you've done kind of gets just, just stripped out of your control. And suddenly it's like, oh, well, you know, now we're kind of not back to square one because obviously they still have a lot of fundamentals there, but you're having to teach someone else again, also someone who might not be a permanent addition to this squad, yeah, right? It's always the hard there's, part. The, 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 there's a lot of problems there. And so I can imagine that it's it's a pretty rough time in the complexity yeah. camp right now. What is, but oh, yeah. on the flip side to all of that, sorry, Hugo. No, no, no. Is, I, I did have like a whole bit prepared. This is all off of a script. What um, you do? It's okay. Yeah, what does the next line say? And so it's like, but if you're complexity now, I think that that would make a playoff run here that much more special. The fact that this wasn't under ideal circumstances, you know, that this is a really rough situation that you're going to have to try and make the best out of. And if they can, I think complexity deserve a hell of a lot of credit for that. Well, that, that kind of goes along with what I was trying to say in the, in the pre-show or the pre-match, which was if they just hold on, they've just got to hold on to what they've got. It doesn't really matter if they make it or not. Apart from it does. That was almost yeah. the entire point of all <laughs> of that. I had to carry right? on with the lyrics. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate myself. that. Yeah. Look, they've got each other, and that's a lot. But we're getting back into this game. Thanks for sticking oh. by. Psych Ariel's not in the server, or is he? We'll have to wait and see. The clock is ticking. The HUD refreshing, and we're back in the action. It's a pistol round between Ents and Complexity. Ents is pick, and call on the T side. We truly are halfway there on train. But living on a prayer is going to be complexity currently. We're going to see the utility come out here accordingly. A lot of presence here towards Ivy, including the bomb. Jumpy tucking in behind the close box. And finally, there's a response in the form of Ariel. Bomb drop there towards Ivy creates a bit of a conundrum. Yeah, not the place they wanted it. Look at Ence's rotation. Triple back line. This is going to make things very hard. Blame. He wants a flank of his own, and he might just get it. Walking in through the connector. Rush just has to stall, stay alive, right? They don't actually know the ends have set up in this way. Ariel's even pushed down Ivy to clear that position. Sergei's gone back to check and he gets the information. Even if he doesn't hang around, now Ents know where one of these two players are. It's all about Rush. Creeping and crawling. But some long sight lines, not with a gun for it. He does get a dink, tries to follow up. Aim punched off the angle, but he can take his time. A minute on the clock, and Blame has come out back into A. Sergey eliminates him. He is on fire right now, and Rush needs to fire back, but cannot. Ents find a pistol round. They go up 10-6, and this map pick looks very good for them right now. Holding on doesn't get any easier. That I can assure you. Ariel with that saving grace stops the bomb at Ivy. Ultimately wins the round out. Ooh, force with no plant. Cole are delaying their first rifle round. This has got to be successful. They're certainly warmed up with the Deagles. That's what we can say. And they're going to go fast as well towards Tcon. No one committing. A couple of players 
Setting up above pop, two, deep smoke, config, will he respect it? Probably not. But maybe for the time being, they've yet to gain Ivy, nor that pop control. Grenade going in, Ariel gets chunked. And again, down to four. Get out of there, buddy. He has the second nade bound, and he's like, yeah, I guess I better check it. And then just, it's right there. Oh, again. That's a great bit of util damage, though. And that's going to force one of these SMGs to play very, very conservatively here. Ooh. Ooh, Poison was waiting for that peak, and while it was delivered to him, he doesn't do any damage, doesn't get a kill. Sunny has aggressed into main as well. How far does he go with this? That's a, that's a pretty big question right now. Because if he keeps going, there's a chance he either catches Rush in rotation, which is a huge bit of information and potentially a man advantage, or he just spots that this side of the map is clear. Unfortunately for him, he actually missed kind of both the timings for that. So they don't know about this. And this man in main, what it will do is facilitate an extra rotate into the B-bomb site because Sonny hasn't seen or heard anything yet. And so there's three players here for Ents, ready and waiting. There's complexity now, move in for the kill. Down the ramp, Sergey in with one. There's the trade for Rush. Ariel's still here, holding on, not letting them into this site. And this Ooh, UMP what? completely annihilates Cole. Alu there to help out right at the very end. And Ents, they get that conversion. They deal with what was a force buy for complexity. And now it's just going to have to be an eco, so giving over 12. And no head armor there with Cole buying Deagle, Kev, and then Utility. So Ariel, four health, but he just obliterates them as they come down the ramp, just gushing. Gush and blood. It's ends up to 11. Cole eco. Feels like we haven't even seen them buy in this map. And that won't change for now. Like a fresh bowl of mac and cheese. Ooh. Big nades. Landing right at the feet of Ents. No one's safe, are they? Nobody. They've got some nades of their own. They don't need to use them just yet. Concentrated, that'll make a big problem for Plexity, who are, well, armorless, as you might have guessed. Pop in the pop. Yeah, they kind of wanted to fight there more than anything. You know, because it's like you get pop, but then it's like all that does is tell you, well, they're playing back in the site with rifles, and that's not great for us. Yeah, no one's really trying to do all that. Especially on that T side, you're not trying to fight those super duper long angles with no armor and no guns. Really nothing. Little to Cole know, but B is free, right? Or at least it was. Sonny just got here, but Sergey was holding it alone with the USP. That's like the best chance Cole would have had at making anything of this round, right? You often see eco rounds end on B for the plant. But Cole, ain't no way they're getting a plant in this one. They're going to need to hit some bangers. And Alu already spotting. He's got a couple. Oh, dear. Headshots galore for Alu. Deagle out. Cannot ace it again. Alu, his second ace denied. Two 4Ks. Oh. And Ariel cleans it up. So, nades may have been good for Cole, but no one really capitalizes on them. And hence, they do a good job of dealing with these ecos. Now it is buy time for Cole, about time. And they've really got to do something, or this map could slip through their fingers here and now. Yeah, good call on Alu right there. You'll see the trigger discipline to start tapping when he realizes that he's overran. Some nice shades down there in the bottom right, fella. See the dude in the helmet that had horns on it, but it was like, uh, I don't know, like a, like a 1950s like era war helmet with... Did not see that. Yeah, well, it was in there. I don't think I'll ever see, see that again, man. That was pretty cool. NATO waiting outside of this B site with the rest of the team in tow. Pretty last ditch attempt for success here. They're only up against this bonus round. So if Complexity can't find anything now, then they likely can't find anything at all. And NATO could get caught with his utility out. He does get the better of Sergey. Still a lot of bodies here over towards B and almost a line up for Alu. He's gonna go back in for more and that is a decision he'll come to regret, but nobody's cleared out Sunny. Poison dropped with the bomb, man up above is NATO and he, oh, he doesn't get the trade. Luckily enough, Config will, but he's thinking, do I have to do everything myself? And the answer would have had to have been yes, somehow. And long that round out, they get away with a hell of a lot. 
and they find it on the bonus round. Huge read as well. Triple B, right? Ariel was pushed in main again. So Enz had that risk. They had that info. NATO, he tries to trade, but he walks into the smoke and that eludes his vision uh, to the player below. And after Cole got a double entry, right? Killing Alu deep, killing a player, pushing up. But they were like, yeah, man, B's clear. Free bomb plant. No, it was not. That UMP waiting on the spools will fool Complexity, who are back to pistols. Fast out A, at least for NATO. He's going to get picked by the orb through the pixel gap. Alu was at the back, and he's looking for more. Leg on poison, finished by Yampi. And this two-man setup on Ivy is not letting anyone in. It's Ent running the board again, 14 to 6. A dominant display in this map. It wasn't just one side. They've yet to let Cole get on this second half. And now Yampi's gone for the double orb. It was about time. He's been a, bit, been a bit quiet in this map, right? At least on the first half. But now... Except for that one round where he got that TK. I mean, other yeah. than that... Got a three-piece. Or a one-piece if you discount the team kill from the two-piece. That's maths right there. But right now, the numbers, they're all looking good for ends. How in the hell am I supposed to follow that up? Alu. <laughs> Ooh. With one of the AWPs. But Yampi taking the other shot from the inner side of things. Cole's response, AWP in the hands of Poison. Perhaps Ariel will give him that peek from the back of the train stop. He's blinded, he's gonna fire a shot off. That's gonna give Alu the room to take his own shot, but no one's landing anything. So equal health across the board. And Yampi's re-aggressed B. Uh -oh. Flame is holding for it, but how long do they keep this up? Uh -oh. NATO's going to try and walk it, and that'll be his death warrant signed by Yampi. No trade, and amount of advantage taken here for Ents. They're feeling very, very good about this round now, and this one would put them on 15. Man up in it. Yeah, this is now Ents' round to lose. One wrong misstep will give complexity an open door and the first round of the half for him, really. Oh, rush. Very dangerous. Sonny's running and reloading. What did he think? There was no one there. Russia walked up with his own smoke and gets that kill. That's a, a split into the back line, keeping Ents occupied on the A site. Sergey on B, laying down death, and Blame is gone as well. This round is looking lost. Rush has no time to get that bomb plan. He might even just try and save. He's going to throw everything at this round, but Ents are not going to be giving him the fight he desires. 15, and Rush is out of there. May have got a double on the flank, but... Ents are going to lock down the B play. They were double set up inner from the start of the round. They're going to lock down more than the B play. They're going to lock down that 15th. One hell of a game for Ents. I want to see if this keeps up, right? We do know that, like, out of the maps for complexity, this is one that they don't frequent. It's their second least played map. So, you know, you got that asterisk on it right now, but with Mirage coming up next, even though, you know, Ents historically have, have shown a lot of success on that map, maybe not recently. Yeah, Cole's pick. They've got to win it. That's how BO3 works. Nice. Yeah, I think I think Complexity's most notable victory here on train out of the two wins that they have would be versus Astralis, right? Who have shown to be a pretty damn good train team with this new squad. But there, Obo was 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 the well, one of the top performers in the server. So his presence being missed right now. Yampi and Sunny all chiming in. The orbs just wreaking havoc, and it's left to rush and NATO. In a two on four to try and deny the pretty one sided victory here in favor of the Finns. Rush already out from main. He's lost his teammate. 1v4 required. And there it is. Ents locking the victory on their map pick. Dominantly so with a team ace to finish things off. The Finns look good. But now we head to Mirage, the map pick of complexity. You don't want to miss this series. So stick around because we'll be back in just a moment.